praise order it his praise praise is to be ordered that is orderliness in praise so don't say i will flow they are learning the song you are not learning it learn the lyrics of the song learn the tune of the song get down and learn the notes of the song musicians that is when you will be anointed behind the instrument playing it that is why when you see the like of pastor tj on the keyboard and singing at the same time he knows the song he understands the note and he understands the tune so he can do and undo one man doing the work of a tank choir. listen to me that is what it takes but ask yourself and ask your music director that plays those musicians do you know this song the choir singing? go back on sunday and put that test out you see what i'm saying here every one of them the musicians knew the songs they were not just playing notes and so when everything together was in one ah uh -uh, god had it the man playing is also singing from his heart what he's playing the one praising and thanking god is singing from his heart understand what he's doing the priest and the song selection everybody was in it and now let me take you to the congregation <laughs> uh, because most times we lose our congregation and not all singers knows how to carry congregation along and god help you if you have such praise leaders they will be lost throughout the sermon i'll be throughout the worship hello church are you still with me i'm stopping now but look at this it's interesting as we learn <clears throat> Hmm. oh jesus and there they go congregation can you say amen here yeah? say one more time yeah. say one more time yeah. as the people sang and did what they did what is it that ended up there the people worshipped saying the lord is good and his mercies endures forever that was the first response from the congregation it is through the worship of the congregation we got to know what is being said when you are there in the congregation and you say i don't know this song is god good to you is the question if God is good to you and they are singing a song to God you follow that song if you follow it with a heart of gratitude you will catch that song but what you are waiting for is that the one you had in the party the last night and in your one bed that you went to you are wishing that is the one that will be sung in church and if they raise that same chorus you had you know one bed, then you go yay do you know your problem what you have been listening to constantly is what is already in your spirit computerized computed or real you are not open to a new thing the fire of god anytime it falls falls afresh it takes a new song to bring down a fresh fire so if god's goodness is not a renewed affair in your heart congregation you can never connect to worship now the bible tells us here that the people will sh they surely sang out that way and that was <clears throat> and that was their first response first response that the lord is good and his what mercies endures forever and in another case as they sang the bible says and the people said amen amen 
how can he, the people be singing to the Lord or the worshippers be singing to the Lord and congregation cannot say so it is they are saying the Lord is good you are good you are there you are just looking they repeated it again you are good they are still quiet looking you are good the singers and you're still there looking you can't raise your hand you can't clap to it you cannot say yes you cannot say yes you cannot join them they are saying god is good you're still there you know why because you are used to entertainment you you think they are entertaining you so they are busy worshiping and you are not worshiping and then they finish entertaining you you clap now in church there is nothing like worship entertainment did you hear what i'm saying there is nothing like what worship entertainment it does not exist why the choir is singing whether praise worship or they are doing a special piece that you don't know follow the song they are saying you are good somebody say yes they don't need to tell you somebody say yes. you respond because what they are saying is your testimony as well that god is good is it only them that god is good to but because you think they are entertaining you you keep quiet you are waiting you are waiting for them to finish and then you clap they worshipped you did not let me leave these corrections like this because they are coming back and now we shall have the people say the lord is good and his mercy say and just forever and we have the people say what amen that is the way worship is done in church now if praise worship and prayer and the word are key to bringing down god's fire ladies and gentlemen from tomorrow if you miss prayer and praise worship in your services you are not revived <laughs> you are not revived it means that what we god have done in your life this weekend didn't count much how can you come to church you miss prayer praise worship and then when it's time for the word that's when you want to go to the toilet <laughs> Can you see how smart the devil cheats us? He gave you reason for which you miss prayer, you miss praise worship, and then you come into church, and then the word. That's when ah, <laughs> and then on your way to the toilet, your phone rings. <laughs> Let me call you back. Let me call you back, and then you hang back in the toilet, and by the time you are back, the someone has gone halfway. And while you are trying to sit down to listen to the remaining someone, the same person you talk to that didn't finish, your phone beats again. It vibrates. Then you stand up. <laughs> church, church members, the Lord will forgive you. <laughs> and then by the time you return from his second answering this second call, they say, Shall we rise? Uh, And then he said, I went to church, I worshiped. Did you see God? No. Did you encounter God? No. No. This is the way some of us live our life every week. And we say, we went to church. But after this weekend, you that I'm looking at here, you shall be a revived soul. In worship, you shall be revived. In praise, you are revived. In prayer, you are revived. In word, you are revived. 
Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Stand to your feet and give him praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Huh? Give him praise. Come on now. Let congregation give him praise. Give him praise, congregation. Congregation, give him praise. Congregation, give him praise. 